Hi everyone, my name is Dipankar and I'm a developer advocate at Click. Welcome back to another Making Sense video. Let's get started. Today we are going to learn more about the improvised Stardust package in Nebula.js. Stardust package is a JavaScript library for building and embedding visualizations on top of Click's associative engine. So what has changed in the new Stardust package? Stardust now comes with TypeScript definitions. So that means it will now allow developers to be able to use the modern IDEs and take advantage of things such as code auto-completion, verifying correct types, etc. Let's see this for ourselves in a code. Here we have a Nebula project uh, with a couple of files in our project, uh, the HTML, the typical JavaScript file, and we have two more JavaScript files. One is for the Enigma connection to our app that we plan to build a mashup with. And the other is a configure.js file, which basically is leveraging the status package and you know importing a visualization that we need for our mashup. So let's get started. So now we have uh, the run function here within the index.js file. What we would basically need to do is uh, create a variable, declare a variable that will allow us to you know connect to the engine and the app so now as you can see here we can see the definition of the connect and it you know allows us to see what parameters are required by us to connect to that particular app here we need a url a web integration id and an app id so i will quickly copy this thing so that it's easier and faster this way perfect all right so now we have the uh, connection in place and what we would need to do is create a embed instance of this particular connection and pass that particular app configuration details so that we can embed it so the embed function and as I say we need it initiates a new embed instance and we have to supply the Enigma app which in this case is our app right so the last step that remains is to render the particular visualization that we're trying to get and to do that the function is render now you can see the definition as i write the code in my visual studio code all right so the render function is basically uh, taking the configuration for the visualization element so what we would need is an element which for me would be i think i would render it to this particular class in the div so i'll just say you know document I'll just copy it here the type is the second parameter which is basically what we are telling that our mashup that what kind of chart we are building in this case it's a bar chart and the last one uh, is that since we are just using uh, a mashup element and that is already there in our Lixens app I'll just pass in the ID of the particular visualization okay so I think we have it all ready now and when I run this app if I go to my local for I can see my mashup so this is basically the benefit that has come with the new TypeScript definition and look how easier it has made the development process thank you so much for watching